ずるっとこうやってそしたら動くなっつってね But if you step on the top of the foot, you will easily lose balance if he raises his heel. And welcome to Lots Ask Six and Say. I want to be your host, Shogo from Lots Ask Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Thank you. 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 So today, Six Sensei, the 22nd headmaster of Asami Shinju with 400 years of history, will introduce to us four kata, which include techniques of stepping on the opponent. Not only katana techniques, but there are also sickle and muto no sword techniques too. So please watch this video until the end to learn about them all. So then, let's get started. Six and say stepped on Tsukasa's handle. Let's ask about the detail of this technique. 相手がね刀を抜かんとして腰を上げてくるところを小手を正座に腰を上げてくるところを小手を正座にでそのまま押し下げる。同時にここでここで剣を振る。こうしておいてこう肩としてはそして背中を筋交いに割る。そして背中を筋交いに割る。But I know what you're thinking right now. Couldn't the opponent still try to draw the katana from this position forcibly? Yes, he could. But in that case, you just have to push and he'll easily trip. Okay, but what if he doesn't let you press the handle on the floor? That's not a problem either. You could either put your handle in between his arms to throw away his katana, or help him pull it out and steal his katana. Stepping on the handle is just one possibility, and this kata is meant for you to practice the technique. The second kata uses a kama sickle. The ところをこう捕まえて、こうずれてるわけです。で、手首を取って肘をかけて、で、鎌を首へかけて、で、膝もくんでるね。これこっちへこう働くんですね。力が。それを逆に今度鎌をこっちへ働かす。半ピレね。
If you step any further or back than this position, the stepping will not work. You might think that stepping further would be better, but if you step on the top of the foot, you will easily lose balance if he raises his heel. So when you train this kata, you need to be able to step in the right position in one shot. The final kata is a mudodori, a no sort style kata. ペッツイで来るのをペクビとヒジ、ことめるわけね。これはね、これだけで崩れるんですよ。だけども、中腰に立つ。で、これ、お、これを入れながら使う。人より確実。こう。それでこの着卓ね、こう出して膝で。ああ